Hey guys, how are we doing? We're going to play a new game today called Winter Survival. Brand new game, just hit the Play Store not too long ago. So, at the time of this recording here, it's only been available for the last five, six days by the looks of things. I think it came out on the 8th of August, so today being the 15th, I believe, uh, which it is. Uh, we are finally going to play this game, give it a chance, see what it's all about. So. I did do some checks through their Facebook page, so what it appears to be that they've been uh, teasing this game for the last month or so. Now, I believe this was probably mid-July, if I'm not mistaken, when I was taking a look through it. So, basically a lot of teasers, what the game's all about, a couple of cutscenes, trailers, things like that. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll try and leave a link to their Facebook page in the description. So, if you guys want to check it out, check it out. But we're going to um, take a bit of a stroll into the game and see what it's all about. It looks quite interesting. From initial glances, screenshots, things like that, it looks like Frostborn. So if you guys have uh, seen a couple of videos that I did in Frostborn um, a little while back, take a look at that as well and come back to this game and uh, check it out if you guys want to do that. Otherwise, um, at the moment, the game is still in very early development. Uh, time of this recording, just a bit over 10,000 downloads from the Google Play Store. Right now, I believe it's only on Android, so unfortunately iOS users won't get access to that uh, just yet. But check it out if you want, guys, and report back to me if it is available on iOS. But for now, as you can see, we've only got a male character. A female character seems to be implemented a little bit later on. But we're going to go ahead and get started with this one here. Okay, so we've got a message here. Okay, so the when, when the sun sinks into the horizon, the earth is shrouded in a strong night. The alien army is swept from the north. Raid the fortress of uh, Itran. Okay, villagers, corpses, swears to resist. However, the snow falls. The Venus has never been able to rise to the night sky. Coal. Okay. Interesting. So basically with all little tutorials, this gives you, you know, um, you know, the way how to play the game and whoa, okay. Dragon. That's interesting. So it's just gonna tell us to keep walking. Um, okay, there's a resurrected ghost. Can we can we kill him? Yes, we can. And can we kill you too? Yes, we can. So this guy is just dragging his feet right now. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on. It must have been in some sort of battle. And, okay. Barry, are you hurt? Take my bandage, cure your legs. Okay. Well, thanks, mate. So let's go ahead and use that. The captain is ahead, go, alright. Can we pick up anything of interest whilst we're here? I think not, but it always pays to have a look around just to see if we can um, pick up certain items and things like that. So let's just take all. I can't stop, okay. So you can't fight, must hurry up, okay, fair enough. So I don't think we're going to be able to, you know, fight all of these enemies here. But I figured, you know what, there seems to be a bit of them here anyway. So obviously we do not want to die just yet. But I figured, oh, okay, you know what, let's just, let's get out of here. And there's a red skull over here. I'm not too sure what that is, that is about. But let's just keep running. As the tutorial or guide is informing us to do so and oh god what the hell is that that is one big fella anyway let's keep going um looks like i'm dying of something must be the cold i'm not too sure oh and there's a big fella with a horse um yeah let's just keep moving it's crazy and these guys will just appear out of nowhere okay thank you very much let's just keep going do not want to get mixed up with you guys here. All right, you're still alive. Pick up the axe. Let's pick up the axe. Uh, let's just take all. And let's just start chopping 
But they aren't okay. So before these guys come across. And our mystery friend here is going to fight them off. I have no idea. Is he going to die or are we going to chop it with him? No. Okay. So he makes it. Not so much. Okay. So I guess that is that. I don't think we can die here. No, we can't. So. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move what we got over here. All right. So we've got some resources. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's gather. So basically, like I said, just a tutorial at the moment. Pick up anything and everything. Um, obviously, we can um, pick up items. Chop down a couple of trees here and there. Stone. Let's just pick that up and that. May as well. I mean, seeing that it's, um, you know, free um okay uh sorry free resources that's what i'm trying to sort of say but okay so it's telling us to make uh certain items here and let's just click on that and use okay okay so right so basically we just created ourselves a little bit of a campfire I'm just going to keep picking up resources as well because who knows what is next that lies beyond um, this area here. So let's just continue on. And what else do we have over here? So just a few more trees. Open the blueprint again. Okay, so it's just encouraging us to make uh, certain items here. Doesn't appear like we've got a choice in the matter, so we're gonna to have to do that into the tent. Okay, and we'll leave the tent after the blizzard. Fine. So right now we are just seeing out the blizzard. So it looks like that's gotta be a factor in the game. Um, blizzard, if we're not in the shelter, you know, we'll probably either freeze to death, start losing um you know, HP, things like that. So now that it's all done, we can get out of here. And up top here, do we still have that campfire? I don't think we do. No, it's all gone. Okay. So yeah, interesting. So this game sort of brings some sort of, um, you know, elemental difference to other games. Um, but so far, yeah, so good. So I'm just going to keep continuing just to bring up you know, get all the loose items here. Well, that looks like it's pretty much it. So it is still encouraging us to leave the zone and move over to what lies next, I guess. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're going, okay, to the campsite here. Open the check-in interface, click here, received. Cool. So daily login, it seems. And okay, someone has frozen to unfortunately to death, but uh, let's take everything that you've got there. Let's open up the blueprint, simple storage. Let's learn that and let's go ahead and make that. Check on the backpack. And I guess we're gonna use. Okay. So right now it's literally forcing us to actually click on, you know, before we can actually sort of put it in a different position. I'm hoping that we get the ability to maneuver some of these things around, but that is our home base. So nice and squared off as it is. A couple of little bits and pieces here, so like defense and things like that. So assuming there might be hordes and things like that, um, that might happen a little bit later on, who knows? So let's go ahead and get out of that. And right now, we've got our own little inventory. So we can go ahead and just leave a few things. Can we double click? No, we cannot. So we've got a uh, uh, survival package. Okay, well, I might just leave that there for now. Okay, we can probably store it in the backpack. So we can use it. 
So let's just move some of these things over here. And for now, let's go ahead and use that. Okay. So we've got gold coins. Um, okay, so we've got bandages. And what else is this fella here? So wine, I guess that's water. And potion, magic fountain. Okay. So a few things that we've got there for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there for the minute. And whoop. Okay, so this is a little bit different to other games. So you can't sort of just click. Uh, cl click and then sort of run you got to let him do that little animation and let the percentage bar goes up so you've got to sort of be patient with this game for now so there's been a lot of um, minor updates that I've noticed over the last couple of days before playing the game so I sort of just wanted to wait a little bit and just sort of get a bit of an understanding of the game myself so I have actually checked out a couple of other um, videos that were uploaded as well just to sort of see um you know what the game's all about so i can just sort of pre-prepare myself for you guys most importantly uh just to get a little bit of a better understanding but from what i can see there seems to be no um uh, sneak element so unfortunately we're gonna have to get into a, a little battle here and yeah i guess you know there's no let's just take all um, unfortunately, there's no um, yeah uh, sneaking element here, so we're going to have to sort of just you know take what we can get, and you know any sort of attack we're going to have to sort of take uh, the brunt of that. Okay, so we've got another little storage unit here, so we can at least get these things into in a secure um, uh, storage, and I might just keep some of these for now and let's just have a quick look so that takes a little bit to make you know a, a little storage unit so that's fine got a little spear here and an axe for now i'm going to go ahead and learn that anyway because we're going to have to and we'll craft one of these guys up as well and i don't know what this all is here but let's just take out this villager's ghost and that's just a deer. The map looks actually really cool. So as you can see on the little mini map, compared to what, if you go into sort of the builder's mode here, it's pretty squared off, but let's just jump out. And yeah, you can actually go around the boundary and perimeter of the actual, of your camp and base. So it's kind of neat. I actually like that. There's a fox there. So we've pretty much killed off all the, um, all the enemies that are currently in here at the moment. Um, so for now, I think this space, well, this camp area is ours, ours for the taking. So for now, I'm just going to go back to that area where it told me to drop all these items here. So I'm going to have to play around with that. I want to take that with me. Uh, let's just pop this away and hopefully we've got enough, you know, inventory for the the zone that we have to run into because it's actually telling us to move into a zone can we equip this no can this be equipped no you can't use snowballs okay so at least i've got another weapon here for now for the moment okay <laughs> we are hungry so let's go ahead and just eat may as well eat all that up just get some food back into us here so I'm not too sure what the um, what the idea with the snowball is meant to be used for. So for now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that in here and there, and we'll take that with us. So right now, there's a little um, a little icon just over to the left hand side here. We're going to go to the woods and collect more resources. So let's go ahead and jump over to a um, to the woods, and we'll see what that's all about. Okay, so it's telling us to go to the grove here, so we'll have to click onto that. Um, tells us to run, so let's just go ahead and do that. And so far, this is our overmap here, overworld. Um, again, unfortunately, I can't really sort of 
have a quick look at the over, overworld here, but let's go ahead and go back anyway and see. Okay, so we've got a forest over here. That's a two skull zone, uh, abandoned mines, two skull, uh, a camp obviously, and the pine and needle stone forest. Okay. And it also tells you what looks like um, can be sort of taken from from the zone so we've got wood stone mine which I'm guessing that's iron uh, abandoned mines same deal and the forest same deal but I don't know if they're, they're supposed to be highlighted or illuminated for it to be a thing I'm not too sure anyway so may as well well okay so that's a tree didn't look like a tree but yeah, this gives me a very um, Frostborn feel. So if you look at the guy here and look at the layout of the actual, um, um, on how the sort of the game presented itself here. So all the icons here, um, your armor, your equipment here. We haven't got any shoes, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it looks very Frostborn-like to myself. Can we, no, we can, oh yeah, we can, okay. So we've got two slots here. Well, that's cool. And as you can see, they sort of appeared there and they sort of disappeared. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so at least that way we've got a little bit of in inventory space to play with at the very beginning. Uh, what kind of sucks at the moment is that we can't do any sort of crouching or anything like that. But for now, we'll just see what, what's available. We can take all. Um, what have we got over here? Okay, this is our first enemy. So let's go ahead and hit you. And oh, oh. What's that? He's got a power attack here. Okay. Let's just go ahead and equip that. We've got a wolf over there. Really nothing that we can pick up from that guy there, unfortunately. Um, okay, this becomes another fe fella here. Let's just take him out. So as you can see, there's a little bit of clunk to the game, unfortunately. And Looks like when they're doing their power attack, you can sort of dodge them as well. So, look, you've got to sort of take it for what it is at the moment. You know, the game is still in an early beta access kind of thing. Oop. And this is a wolf. Let's just take what we can take from that. And that's just going to make us small zombie swordsman. Okay, well, let's get him back into the zone. So as you can see, there's a little bit of lag there before you sort of engage in a fight. So it is what it is. I'm sure things like this can be optimized, you know, once the developers sort of um, update the game and sort of optimize the performance of the game. I'm sure that might change. Who knows? Or it might be here to stay. Who knows? But for now, you know, we've got it for what it is. Um, let's just go ahead and take you out. And just, you know, keep looting. I just want to get all the loot boxes and things like that. Clear the zone, of course. And let's just take everything here. So I was reading a couple of bits and pieces, you know, through their um, updates through the developer page as well. So there's going to be a combination of your standard um, zones that will refresh straight away. And then there will also be um, an element where certain zones will have a cooldown timer as well. And... Basically, if we die in the in the zones, that will obviously change straight away. Um, we'll lose our character uh, belong belongings as well. So whatever is there is there. Um, what we lose is what we lose. But then the the maps that will feature a cooldown timer um, will have a chance to you know sort of go back and reclaim a dead body. Or if we haven't been able to claim everything in the zone we should be able to make good on that and clear out the, the remaining parts of the zone. But for now, um, we're just you know, making our way through the basic zone here. And if we do die in here, I believe we will lose everything. So it is what it is. But oh, I got him before he swung his power attack. What is this? Uh, copper or oh, Cooper junk. All right, let's just take some Cooper junk. And yeah, I really want to take out all of these enemies here. So yeah, this gives me a very Frostborn vibe. Not a bad thing at all. Um, actually kind of like the, the wintry style of games. 
Um, okay, so we've got, we're going to take out some sort of unnecessary items. Oop, oop, where'd you come from? Well, that's a medium player as well. Okay. Ooh, you dropped some interesting things. Well, unfortunately, I am out of infantry. So what I probably would want to get rid of is possibly that, and I will take that. Take that. No, you can't double tap, so you can only just drag and cross. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the snowballs and give me the stone for now. Because I'm sure you can find snowballs pretty much anywhere you go, let's be honest. Um, and can we... Backpack is full, full, please discard. Well, that sort of sucks. So it doesn't actually tell you that you can't take the items. It's just going to proceed to take the items, but then tell you that you can't take them, which is annoying. Can we move any of this over here? Can we move that over here? Yes, we can. Okay. So what I might do is see if there's any other berries around. And I might just take... Yeah, so you can't really... Yeah, so he's just going to run out of the map, which is fine. I uh, just want to see if there was any sort of berries here before we head back home. But basically, you can chop down all the trees that you want. Um, I might as well just do that while I'm here, actually. That might be a good idea. And unfortunately, because there's no auto mode either, you're pretty much moving about and uh, farming for resources. Uh, old school so there's only so much that we can do here and okay so we need to pick I think that's copper as well and my player is hungry so yeah apparently you're gonna have to keep an, an eye on this as well so uh, this will have effect on you if you don't actually heal your player or make sure that he's nice and healthy with food and things like that so gonna make sure that has that has to be as well so we've got some flax as well um wood wise oh okay so you can actually go beyond a stack of 20. so that's interesting so i wonder if there's like a limitation or like a cap before it tells you that you can't take anything take any more one tree worm okay so we've got a tree worm that's cool so 25 um let's see if that's our limitation so okay so he's gonna keep chopping Two logs 27 okay so you can actually keep going so that's interesting so that's something different that we haven't got in current survival games so basically you, you got to call it quits when you've got a stack of 20 but this goes far beyond the norm so that's interesting I like that I actually do so this allows us to get more of the same item obviously if you've got too many okay backpack is full so okay well there you go 30 is the, the max that we can take from this, so that's fine. I mean, it's better than 20, that, put it that way. So I think that's pretty much going to be it for here. I don't want to really push my luck, to be honest with you. So I was just seeing if there's anything else I could pick up, like flax or anything like that. Um, he's still hungry. I really wanted to take the, um, uh, the copper. But unfortunately, I can't make that while I'm here because I've got too much over here. So that's not to worry. I mean, I think you can pretty much come back here and just clear out again and, you know, take the copper for what it's worth. So if I go back home, it's going to respawn. So unfortunately, it is what it is. But not to worry. I'm glad that you guys had a bit of a look in here. Uh, not too sure what that's all about here. Don't know if that's going to be like a future map or will that pop up as an event later on? Who knows? Uh, we've got the abandoned mines here. We've got a castle over here. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else is there? So it's not very expansive at the moment. Volcano. That could be, you know, a possible zone moving forward as they sort of implement the game. Um, another castle over here with a what appears to be a half-sunken ship. So, but that's pretty much it for the map itself. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, Eternal Garrison Ruins. Oh, sorry. It, yeah, eternal, it is. So, okay. You can run over here, will tame body after death. Okay. Uh, fair enough. 
So we might make a, a trip over there later on. But for now, I think that's probably a good time to sort of um, go ahead and end today's video. I hope you guys have found this a little bit interesting. Uh, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section down below. If you guys are, you know, interested in the game, uh, let me know. Don't know what we can do here. Can we upgrade it? There were no walls that can be upgraded. Okay. So I don't know whether or not we can fix this or not. Do we... It doesn't give us any sort of ability to do anything about that. Uh, okay. So we can sort of upgrade the flooring. And will that let us upgrade the walls? I have no idea. Okay. All right, so you got to, so with this here, you got to pretty much upgrade the floors before you can upgrade the walls by the looks of things. So that's cool. Okay. Don't know if we can do the door. Can we do the door? It doesn't give me the option to do the door. Anyway, I'll work that out. But yeah, that's interesting. Uh, function, nothing there. Anything else that I've missed out? Uh, no mail is open yet. The reward system. So once you've continue continuously log in um yeah there's some certain items that we can get per day that we log in so that's pretty neat uh, my guy's gonna need food so that's gonna happen um okay don't know what that's all about oh i think that's a little chat system actually i think you can actually chat in here i'm not too sure maybe maybe not okay um otherwise here what we've got is future items that we can unlock. Better weapons, better armor, things like that. So that's cool. So yeah, pretty much like any other mobile survival game to date. Just a bit of a different spin on it, but let's see how we go. Let's see, you know, if this becomes an interesting game. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Have you guys actually seen this game before? Are you playing it? How far have you gotten into the game? Wanna know, hit me up in the comments. But with everything else in between, make sure you go ahead and like the video. Uh, let me know what you think about it. The more likes, the better, of course. If you're new to the channel, if you are interested in mobile survival games, check out all my playlists, guys. Um, I do a lot of mobile survival games on my channel. Um, and yeah, make sure you hit the notification bell along with that. And yeah, stay subscribed. Anyway, we're going to leave it here today. Thanks for stopping by. And I might be catching you guys in the next video.